It is game seven of nine. Back then it was of nine of the 1919 World Series, and it's over, and we're with the winners. Inside the White Sox locker room, players rush in. They're rejoicing. They haven't pulled off, uh, putting off death for another day. The White Sox are still down in the series, but they're alive, and that's huge. We focus in on two players, first baseman Chick Gandel and infielder Fred McMullen, neither looking like they just won a World Series game. They share a knowing and nervous look, not joining in on the revelry. In the room that night, Chick sits at the end of the bed, tapping his feet, begs, I'm sorry, bags still packed. He just arrived from Cincinnati. And finally, there's a knock at the door, and Fred comes in. And he's in much better spirits, ignoring his teammate's sudden conscience. Come on, we were never, never going to get enough cash out of Kaminsky. Kaminsky. <laughs> we got to. While you're freezing your balls off working a winter job, I'll be getting my dick sucked while drinking Mai Tais in Key West. But Chick still doesn't look convinced. 